हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेन हिस्ट्री चैप्टर एट टूरिज्म एंड हिस्ट्री इंडिया इज अ सेंटर ऑफ टू एंशंट सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कॉल्ड द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन एंड द आर्यन सिविलाइजेशन इंडिया हैज एन एंशंट ट्रेडिशन ऑफ टूरिज्म इट एग्जिस्टेड एज एन इंडस्ट्री इन द इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर इन एंशंट टाइम्स एंड वॉज इंडल्ज in by all classes of people tourism in the past the tradition of traveling is quite old in india people used to travel for various reasons like pilgrimage going to local fairs and festivals in search of a renowned teacher and good education for trade etc in brief from ancient times people took to traveling for various reasons do you know the buddhist literature tells us that gautam buddha traveled to several cities in ancient india for preaching buddhist monks were ordained not to stay at one place but keep traveling continuously to various places jain monks sadhus also used to travel constantly when sang the chinese monk traveled to india in 630 CE in the medieval period sant namdev sant eknath guru nanak ramdas swami traveled extensively in india do you know benjamin of tudela is known as the first european traveler discoverer he was born in spain during the period of 1159 to 1173 CE he traveled to france germany italy greece syria arabia egypt iraq persia india and china he maintained diaries of the accounts of his travels his diaries are viewed as important historical documents marco polo the italian traveler of the 13th century introduced asia especially china to europe he stayed in china for 17 years he wrote about the flora and fauna social life culture and trade systems of asia ibn battuta the traveler of the 14th century took the world on a virtual travel of the islamic world with his travel accounts he was traveling for 30 years he had resolved not to travel twice on the same route his accounts are helpful in understanding the medieval history and social life jaradas makecha of 16th century was a cartographer he is known for creating a world map and globe of the earth his work proved to be very useful for navigation around the world tourism tourism can be defined as traveling to visit places in distant regions for a specific purpose In the later half of the 19th century CE the name of Thomas Cook is noteworthy in the context of tourism history he organized a trip by railway from Leicester to Loughborough for about 600 people later he was successful in organizing a round trip of Europe eventually he established a travel agency selling tourist tickets this early venture of Thomas Cook opened doors for the development of modern tourism. Do you know the tradition of traveling from corner to corner was prevalent in India from ancient times. Vishnu Bhat Godse wrote down the accounts of his journey from Maharashtra to Ayodhya and back to Maharashtra. It is published as a book entitled Maza Pravas. Vishnu Bhat traveled during times of the indian war of independence in 1857 he was the eye witness for many events related to his, to this historical event his accounts are full of detailed descriptions about various incidences during this period especially those about the life of lakshmi bai the queen of jhansi we also get to know the nature of marathi language of the 18th century this book is one of the important sources of history of that period
no, types of tourism. These days, tourism has become an independent field of local, interstate, national and international business. The desire to visit national and international monuments, places of historical importance and natural beauty, ancient centers known for handicrafts, pilgrim center, industrial centers and sites of various developmental projects etc. promotes tourism. Tourists from all over the world wish to visit natural and man-made sites which offer a delightful and awe-inspiring experience. The places like snow-capped peaks, beaches, pristine jungles which were neglected previously became important locations of tourist interest. Mass media began to make special audiovisual presentations highlighting places of tourist interest. Tourism can be broadly typified into local tourism, interstate tourism, international tourism, religious tourism, historical tourism, health tourism, science tourism, agro tourism, sports tourism, tourism based on special events, etc. Local and interstate tourism. This kind of tourism is not very overwhelming because it is within one's own country. It does not cause difficulties of language, procuring currency and document. More so, we can plan it at the time suitable to us. International tourism. Nowadays, it has become easier to travel because of the easy availability of a number of options of railway, marine, and air transport. Marine transport has linked the coastal regions. There is a trans-European railway route. Aviation has brought the entire world closer. Because of the economic liberalization policy of the Indian government, the number of people traveling back and forth from India has increased considerably. They include people traveling for studies, relaxation, sightseeing, and professional assignments that is meetings agreements etc also for shooting of films etc one needs to procure various official documents for traveling abroad now historical tourism this type of tourism is popular all over the world tours to historical places are arranged to satisfy people's interest in history. It can be noted in this context that Gopal Nilkant Dandekar, a renowned Marathi writer, used to arrange hiking tours to forts in Maharashtra to explore the sites closely linked to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and his achievements. Tours are also arranged to important historical sites in India such as forts in Rajasthan, ashrams of Mahatma Gandhi and Acharya Vinobha Bhave. Important places related to the Indian War of Independence in 1857 etc. You would like to know this. People of various religious communities are dispersed globally. However, they feel united because of their mythological traditions and the places associated with those traditions. This creates a desire to travel to those places and it gives rise to religious tourism. In this context, the constructions undertaken by Ahilya Bai Holkar spending from her personal funds are noteworthy. Ahilya Bai wanted to provide good amenities on the pilgrim routes like Chardham Yatras and Bara Jyotirlingas. Geographical tourism. This type of tourism involves visiting places to observe special geographic features of a region. It includes various natural and animal sanctuaries, places like Valley of Flowers, Uttarakhand, various beaches, unique geographical wonders like the Crater Lake at Lunar and Ranjan Khalage naturally carved out cavities in rocks at Nigoj in Maharashtra. Many tourists like to visit these places 
to satisfy their curiosity. Health tourism. People from the western countries find the health services and facilities in India comparatively cheaper and yet of good standard. Hence, many foreigners prefer to come to India to avail of the med medical facilities and health services. India is a tropical country where ample sunlight is available throughout the year. This attracts tourists from countries with cold climate to India. Availability of facilities for yoga training and therapies based on Ayurveda is one more reason to want to visit India. Agro-tourism Agro-tourism, which is also known as agri-tourism, is rapidly developing, especially meant for the urban population, which has very little exposure to rural life and agriculture. Now, Indian farmers are also visiting faraway places like agricultural research centers, agricultural universities and countries like Israel, where experimentation in advanced technology of agriculture is carried out. Sports tourism. Sports tourism was developed in the 20th century. There are various sports events organized an international level like Olympics, Wimbledon, World Chess, Championship and International Cricket Tournaments etc. While there are events like Himalayan Car Rally on national level, events like Maharashtra Kesri wrestling competitions are organized on state level. Traveling to attend such events comes under sports tourism. Tourism based on special events. People want to travel and they are often on the lookout for special reasons to do it. In the 21st century, it has become common to organize such events which also help to promote tourism, film festivals, various types of seminars and conferences, international book exhibition etc. are examples of such special events. People keep visiting several places to attend such special events. Many literature enthusiasts in Maharashtra travel every year to attend Akhil Bharatiya Marathi Sahitya Sammelan, that is Pan Indian Marathi Literary Convention. Development of Tourism The crucial issue in the development of tourism is providing proper guidance to national and international tourists about various aspects of the actual travel, proper social conduct during the tour and during their stay at the destination places, giving priority to ensure safe transport and security facilities for the tourist amenities of reasonably good standard, availability of good accommodation, good washroom facilities on the travel routes is of great significance in promoting tourism. It is also very important to pay attention to the special needs of handicapped tourists. It is very essential for the tourists that pamphlets, guides and history books about a tourist site be available in their own language. Hence, such literature should be made available in various languages. It would be helpful if the taxi drivers are trained to converse in more than one languages. They may also be trained as tourist guides. Now, conservation and preservation of heritage. It is a hard task to preserve and conserve heritage sites. Our country is very rich with historical sites dating to ancient, medieval and modern period. It is also blessed with abundance of nature. Heritage of any country is divided into natural heritage and cultural that is man-made heritage. There are some heritage sites in India which are acclaimed 
globally such as Taj Mahal at Agra, Jantar Mantar, Observatory at Jaipur and also the rock cut caves at Ajanta, Verun and Gharapuri that is Elephanta, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Railway Terminus in Maharashtra. Caste Plateau in Maharashtra is located in the Western Ghats which is a world natural heritage sites. Next is professional opportunities in the tourism and hospitality industry. Tourism and hospitality is an industry with potential to create maximum employment opportunities. If managed professionally, it is a very stable industry. It has tremendous scope for experimentation and innovation. A good number of opportunities of employment are available in the tourism and hospitality industry. The country which is a tourist destination begins to receive revenue even before a tourist arrives at the airport of that country. He has to pay for his visa. He spends for his travel, stay in hotels, food payment to translators and guides, buying newspapers, reference books, souvenirs, etc. This contributes to the growth of economy of that country. Markets in the vicinity grow along with the development of a tourist center. Hence, the local handicrafts and cottage industries also begin to develop. The demand for locally processed food items and ethnic handicrafts increases. It results in better income for local artisans, business people and wage earners. Development of Tourism in Maharashtra Maharashtra is a state blessed with rich heritage. The much admired rock cut caves, paintings and sculptures of Ajanta, Verul and Gharapuri, Elephanta, pilgrim centers like Dehu, Alandi, Jejuri, Pandarpur, Shirdi, Shegaon, Tuljapur, Kolhapur, Nasik, Tembakeshwar, Paitan, Haji Malam, Gurdwara at Nanded, Mount Mary Church in Mumbai, etc. Hill stations like Mahabaleshwar, Panchagani, Khandala, Lonawala, Mathiran, Chikaldhara, etc. Dams at Koinanagar, Jaikarwadi, Bhadgar, Chandoli, etc. And sanctuaries at Dajipur, Sagareshwar, Tadoba, etc. are among the important tourist centers in Maharashtra. Heritage walks to go on a tour for visiting historical places is known as heritage walk. One can experience the thrill of being a part of history by participating in heritage walks. Heritage walks as an organized group activity has gained popularity in many countries. India has a rich history which can be traced back to many millenniums. Every regions of India is full of historical places from ancient, medieval and modern period. The heritage walk organized in the city of Ahmedabad is well known. In the cities of Mumbai and Pune in Maharashtra, such walks are organized regularly. Heritage walks can encourage people to support projects like conservation and preservation of historical monuments to collect authentic information about them and to publish it to various media, Re residences of renowned citizens who have passed away are also part of heritage. In some cities, blue plagues with the names and other relevant information of such citizens are placed on their residences as a part heritage scheme. Do you know, Billar is a village near Mahabaleshwar which boosts of natural beauty and sweetness of strawberry. It is also known as the village of books. Every household in this village maintains a library of its own for the tourists to enjoy. 
Maharashtra state government has implemented this scheme with a view to accelerate the reading culture movement for the reader tourist to enjoy the beauty of Marathi literature enriched by the works of old and new authors and saints. It includes various types of texts like biographies, autobiographies, fiction, poetry, literature by women, literature on sports, literature for kids, etc. If you go to Mahabaleshwar, make it a point to visit Biller as well. Do you know Mahabaleshwar and Panchagani are hill stations? Thousands of tourists arrive here. These tourists are accompanied by guides who provide relevant information on the sightseeing tour. At some places, photographers are present to click nice snaps for the tourists. Horsekeepers provide horses for horse rides and horse cart rides. It is the local people who are engage in these activities and they can earn good money for their services. In short, tourism becomes a major source of their livelihood.